enjoying this week, the short week that we have with Thanksgiving. So this week is kind of like our holiday edition right now for Fresh Tip Tuesday because I felt like getting dressed up. It's my holiday dress. But I think that's really great and fun because I love the holidays, okay? I love it just because you get to spend time with family, make really good food, and I get to have my famous spinach balls. Well, it's Tupperware's recipe. I just kind of made it famous on my own. Um, but anyways, I want to thank you again for joining me. Again, I am Corinne Brown, the Fresh Expert, and this is Fresh Tip Tuesday. Today I'm teaching you all the great things about spinach. I love spinach. Like spinach nourishes your eyes, it prevents oral health problems, helps with cognitive function, it's even a bone strengthener. Um, it's just so good. It even helps fight um, wrinkles and acne, which I think is really super cool. All right, so here's the spinach ball recipe for you. Um, I'm trying out something new, so make sure you comment spinach and message me spinach, and it should automatically send you the recipe. So let's see if I actually put that together right this time. All right, here's how the recipe goes. You're gonna want two cups of fresh spinach. Now I wanna show you, I use the Tupperware's Power Chef, and you'll see all the fresh spinach up in there. Make sure you do baby spinach. I like it better. It's softer, it has better flavor. It hasn't cooked as long, so it's not as veiny, right? Um, so it's really easy. But watch this. So you see my spinach. Literally, with the Power Chef, you know, each time you pull the handle, it's like hand chopping 100 times. So you're gonna mince this up in seconds. I mean, look at that spinach, how it's all minced up and ready to go. You don't need to pull out power, um, a big old Cuisinart. The great thing about the Power Chef, it is your food processor, it's your blender, it's everything, and the whole thing goes in the dishwasher. Plus, you don't need electricity, so if someone else is working on the hand mixer, you can still do this simple, easy recipe. Okay, so that was two cups of fresh spinach. Then you're gonna take four eggs, and you're gonna add three cups of stuffing, a half of a cup of milk or broth, depending on what you like, and then three cups of cheese. Parmesan cheese is so good, but sometimes I like to do a blend to change it up, but you do want the harder um, cheeses that we have, kind of like your Romano cheese and that stuff. And then of course you're gonna use your Tupperware Great Master, as you guys have learned, to grate your cheese. I know the bag of cheese seems really convenient, but it doesn't melt as well, and it makes that kind of stays in that hard shape. Plus there's all those preservatives. You really don't know how long it's been on the shelf, okay? So make sure that you grate it yourself, just buy the block, you're good to go. Do y'all get all those ingredients? It is gonna be loaded for you too, but it's two cups of fresh spinach, four eggs, one half of a cup of milk or broth, depending on what you want, um, three cups of stuffing mix, and then two cups of cheese. Now you do wanna make sure you let this rest after you mix it up before you start forming your balls because you want that stuffing that's normally coarse and crunchy, right? You want it to get soft. You want the, the liquid to absorb in it so it makes it easier so it's just satisfying and yummy, okay? All right, my secret ingredient, I actually like to take a little bit of Tupperware um, Italian herb seasoning. That's one of the seasoning classes that I can come and do for you and make in your home and show you how to do the Southwest Chipotle, there's a cinnamon vanilla, and then there is that Italian herb. Okay, now here's the fun part, which is why you wanna make sure you have clean hands, is then you get to make balls. <laughs> my balls, okay, sorry. So <laughs> these are the Parmesan spinach balls and you're just gonna roll them up like that. We're gonna use the Tupperware silicone um, mat, wonder mat, to cook them in the oven. If you aren't familiar with the silicone wonder mat, it's like parchment paper, but you can use it two to three thousand times, which means you don't have to worry about throwing all this stuff away, spending hundreds of dollars a year. And you can use it over and over. Great for cookies, whenever I do my holiday candy making. We can always schedule a Tupperware party for you, and I can help make those for you too. We made this really good um, praline brittle last night at our sales meeting. So yummy. All right, so you make your little balls. Now you can actually go ahead and make your balls and then you can freeze them um, for later if you don't wanna cook right away. It kinda just depends on, you know, what you want. You know, if you are ready to do it all at once or I like to make them, prep them, put them away and then when I'm hungry, I just pull them out and reheat them or I'll cook them from scratch because I actually will freeze them just like this. So you're gonna have the oven at 425 degrees and you're gonna cook these little boogers for 15 to 18 minutes. And here's our finished product. Are y'all ready? Look at those amazing bites of goodness. So yummy. Remember, you can message me spinach so you can get the recipe. So message the fresh expert for it. And seriously, think about this. I mean, this is a little comfort food, right? This isn't to me like heaven in a bite. 
but you're also, because you're using the fresh spinach, you're getting all the nutrients. And remember, that's the free radicals that help against cancer. And this has so many great ways to help you. I even love the fact that it can alkaline you and help balance your pH blood levels. So spinach is great. Come on, if Popeye liked it, don't you think everybody should like spinach? So I hope you guys enjoyed this holiday edition. Make sure you comment. What are you making this holidays? What's your favorite holiday appetizer? I'll see you again next Tuesday here at Fresh Tip Tuesday at our studio in Charlotte, North Carolina. And I hope you guys have a topperific and fresh day. Bye, guys.